Hello everyone. Welcome to Analog Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to talk about noise equivalent bandwidth. Please note, in my previous two videos, I have discussed about passing white noise through an ideal low pass filter as well as a practical low pass RC filter. Those two videos will be a prerequisite for this video. So, I highly recommend you to watch those videos first before you continue with this one. You can watch the video on passing white noise through an ideal low pass filter by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now. And you can watch the video on passing white noise through a practical RC low pass filter by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now. I will also leave the links of the same in the video description below. Coming back to the topic of this discussion, which is noise equivalent bandwidth, let us recall the video on passing white noise through an ideal low pass filter. There, we have discussed that when a white noise process with zero mean and power spectral density n0 by 2 is passed through an ideal low pass filter of bandwidth capital B and unity passband amplitude, then the average noise power at the output of the filter is equal to n0 into b. Similarly, when we pass a white noise process of zero mean and power spectral density n0 by 2 through a practical RC low pass filter, then the average output power is equal to n0 divided by 4 RC. I have derived these terms in my previous videos, so please refer them. It should be noted that these results are obtained by evaluating the autocorrelation function at the output of the filter, which is Rn of tau at tau equals 0. If I talk about the practical RC low pass filter, the 3 dB bandwidth is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi RC. So, from these two points, we understand that the output of both the ideal as well as the practical filters have a finite average power which is proportional to the bandwidth of the filter itself. Therefore, we say that it is quite important to define the noise equivalent bandwidth to generalize as well as extend this theory to all kind of low pass filters. Let us now derive a term for the noise equivalent bandwidth. For that, let us consider a low pass filter with frequency response given by H of F. Let the input to the filter be a white noise process with mean equal to 0 and power spectral density equal to N0 by 2. Please note this is denoted by SW of F, which is the power spectral density of the white noise process. This scenario can be understood by a simple diagram as shown here. We have input as white noise process W of t and we have a filter and at the output of the filter we have a noise process N of t. Coming to the output of the filter, the power spectral density of the noise process N of t is given by S N of f and is equal to S W of f which is the power spectral density of the input which is white noise multiplied by magnitude square of h of f which is the filter function. We know that the power spectral density of white noise is n0 by 2, so I have put it here and we have retained the magnitude square of h of f as it is. Let us now find the average output noise power which is denoted by Pn and is equal to integration of power spectral density of the noise at the output of the filter that is integral minus infinity to plus infinity s n of f df. Now let me substitute for s n of f from our previous equation which is equation 1 and that part is shown here. Since n0 by 2 is a constant term I have taken it outside the integration. So it will be n0 by 2 integral minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude square of h of f into df. Let us recall the fact that magnitude square of h of f is an even function of frequency. Therefore, equation 2 reduces to 
Pn equals n0 by 2 multiplied by this integration term with limits minus infinity to plus infinity can be reduced to 2 into integration 0 to infinity magnitude square of h of f into df. The 2 in the denominator and numerator gets cancelled. Therefore, the average output noise power is n0 multiplied by integral 0 to infinity magnitude square of h of f into df. Let us now change the scenario that is let the practical or general filter we have considered till now be replaced by an ideal low pass filter and therefore the average output noise power now becomes p n dash equals integral minus infinity to plus infinity s n of f df. Once again s n of f is the power spectral density at the output of the filter. I am going to substitute the RHS of equation 1 once again here. Therefore, the noise power at the output of the ideal filter P n dash equals integral minus infinity to plus infinity S w of f into magnitude square of h of f df. We know that magnitude square of h of f is equal to magnitude square of h of 0 for magnitude of frequencies less than or equal to B n and 0 for magnitude of frequencies greater than or to be n, where b n is the noise equivalent bandwidth of the low pass filter. Let me now substitute equation 5 which is this one in the RHS of equation 4. This is shown here. So, p n dash now equals the previous integral limits were minus infinity to plus infinity and the new limits are minus b n to plus b n. Then we have the power spectral density at the input of the filter which is n0 by 2 multiplied by magnitude square of h of 0 into df. Now we should note magnitude square of h of 0 is independent of frequency and therefore can be considered to be constant. So in the next step which is here I have taken n0 by 2 as well as magnitude square of h of 0 outside the integral and therefore the equation reduces to integral minus b n to plus b n df. Let us now perform integration. Integration of df is f and the limits are minus b n to plus b n. After substituting the limits we find it to be equal to 2 b n. Now there is a 2 in the denominator here and there is a 2 in the numerator so they get cancelled and therefore the noise power at the output of the ideal filter is now equal to n naught b n into magnitude square of h of 0. Once again, please note b n is the noise equivalent bandwidth for the low pass filter. Now, to find an expression for the noise equivalent bandwidth, I compare the RHS of equation 6 which is this and the RHS of equation 3 which is this. This is shown here. This is the RHS of equation 3 and this is the RHS of equation 6. Note that there is an N0 term in both LHS and RHS, so it gets cancelled. Therefore, the expression for the noise equivalent bandwidth is given by Bn equals integral 0 to infinity magnitude square of h of f df whole divided by magnitude square of h of 0. This is the expression for the noise equivalent bandwidth of the filter. Now, considering the procedure we have just followed, we can now describe how to obtain the noise equivalent bandwidth. We obtain the noise equivalent bandwidth by substituting a practical low pass filter with a frequency response of H of F by an equivalent ideal low pass filter of frequency response h of 0 in a bandwidth of b n. This process will enable you to find the noise equivalent bandwidth. Figure 1 here shows the magnitude square of h of f of the actual practical filter and figure b here shows the magnitude square of h of f of the ideal filter. Please note, in the practical filter which is shown in figure A, the bandwidth is given by B, whereas in figure B, the bandwidth is given by Bn. 
Let us now move on and find the noise equivalent bandwidth of a band pass filter. Please note the only difference between a low pass filter and the band pass filter is the center frequency. In a low pass filter, the center frequency is 0, whereas in a band pass filter, the center frequency is Fc. Therefore, the noise equivalent bandwidth of the band pass filter can be directly given by the expression Bn equals integral 0 to infinity magnitude square of h of f df whole divided by magnitude square of h of fc where fc is the center frequency of the bandpass filter. Figure 2 shows the magnitude square of h of f for a actual practical system that is for a practical bandpass filter and figure b here shows the magnitude square of h of f for an ideal bandpass filter. Having now found an expression for the noise equivalent bandwidth for both low pass as well as band pass filters, let us now define what is noise equivalent bandwidth. This is given in this point here. The noise equivalent bandwidth Bn is the bandwidth of an ideal filter with a rectangular amplitude characteristics in the pass band such that the noise power at the output of the actual filter as well as at the output of the ideal filter are exactly the same. I repeat, it is the bandwidth of an ideal filter with rectangular amplitude characteristics within the pass band of the filter such that the noise power at the output of the actual filter and the noise power at the output of the ideal filter are exactly the same. Such a bandwidth is called noise equivalent bandwidth. Right, that is about the derivation for noise equivalent bandwidth for both low pass as well as band pass filters. Let us now consider the practical RC low pass filter and try to find the noise equivalent bandwidth for this filter. In my previous video, I have already discussed this and we know that the frequency response of a practical RC low pass filter is given by h of f equals 1 divided by 1 plus j 2 pi f rc. So, the magnitude square of h of f is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 2 pi f rc whole square. Let us recall the equation for the noise equivalent bandwidth and it is given by integral 0 to infinity magnitude square of h of f df divided by magnitude square of h of 0. Equation 10 here provides the numerator part and to obtain the denominator part, let us substitute f equal to 0 in equation 10. So, when f is equals to 0, we find the denominator reducing to 1 plus 0. Therefore, magnitude square of h of 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, the noise equivalent bandwidth for a practical RC low pass filter becomes equation is integral 0 to infinity magnitude square of h of f into df whole divided by magnitude square of h of 0. In this part of the equation, I have substituted for magnitude square of h of f and here in the denominator, I have substituted for magnitude square of h of 0. Since the denominator is 1, I will neglect it in the next step here. So, the equivalent noise bandwidth term reduces to integral 0 to infinity 1 divided by 1 plus 2 pi f r c whole square d f. The integration of this term is equal to tan inverse of 2 pi f r c and the limits are 0 and infinity and here in the denominator we have the coefficient of f which is 2 pi r c. Let me now take the 2 pi r c outside here. This f is not there. Please note. So, it will be 1 by 2 pi r c tan inverse of infinity minus tan inverse of 0. So, in the next step, once again, there is no f here. It will be 1 divided by 2 pi r c into tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 minus of tan inverse of 0 is 0. So, the equation reduces to 
pi by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 pi rc and therefore the noise equivalent bandwidth of a practical low pass rc filter is 1 divided by 4 rc. Let me now recall the 3 dB bandwidth of the RC low pass filter which is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi RC. Now comparing the noise equivalent bandwidth with the 3 dB bandwidth for the RC low pass filter we find that the noise equivalent bandwidth for the RC low pass filter which is Bn is 1.57 times greater than the 3 dB bandwidth. And we also note that the noise equivalent bandwidth decreases as the value of resistance increases. That is obvious because the resistance resides in the denominator of the 3 dB bandwidth. Therefore, as the resistance increases, the noise equivalent bandwidth decreases. Well, with that, we have come to the end of this discussion on the noise equivalent bandwidth. In my next video, I will discuss on narrow band noise. So stay tuned. If you found this video to be informative, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on analog communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.